Bonjour à tous et bienvenue. As we just saw with Sunny in Shanghai, ST's desire to make security more accessible extends to many applications. Two years after the launch of the STM32 U5, the desire to help our customers obtain a CZIP level 3 certification is transforming many of our devices. That's why we are happy today to announce the STM32 WBA, the first wireless STM32 to open the way for a Bluetooth Low Energy 5.3 and CZIP Level 3 certification. So, what's new? First of all, the radio received significant optimizations. It is the first of its kind to reach plus 10 dBm in output power. What does that mean for your application? It means that it can offer a more robust wireless link when connecting to a device, even if something is absorbing the signal. Take a wearable connected to a phone, for example. When the wearable is in a backpack, the signal must cross the bag and the user's body, which may cause issues. However, with an output power of plus 10 dBm, engineers enjoy a strong signal and reliable link budget. But that's not all. The STM32 WBA also supports long-range transmission, a high-speed data rate of up to 2 Mbps per second, and advertising extension to optimize communication management. And while the WBA52, the first WBA, focuses only on Bluetooth low energy, supports for other wireless technologies like OpenThread and Zigbee will arrive a bit later. We are also really proud to announce the STM32 WBA today because it represents a new approach to wireless microcontrollers. The original WB had a Cortex-M0 Plus running the radio stack and the Cortex-M4 for the application. The WBA uses a single Cortex-M33 running at 100 MHz with a score of 407 in core mark. What does that mean for you? Well, thanks to this new power, you can now run demanding algorithms like, for example, fingerprint recognition or anomaly detection thanks to predictive maintenance. Moreover, this one core simplifies developments, provides a better performance per watt ratio, and benefits from a certain maturity since it borrows from a well-known microcontroller, the STM32 U5. Indeed, that's what makes the STM32 WBA special. For example, the WBA supports low power, stop zero, stop one, and standby modes that developers find in the STM32 U5. Why? Because it enables developers to go rapidly from a running mode with connectivity to standby mode with the radio context written in the memory. Thanks to this optimized mechanism, the WBA offers greater power saving and fast wake-up times than its predecessors. We know that strong security is also something that more and more of you must deliver. That's why the STM32 WBA is the first ST wireless microcontroller to provide a CZIP Level 3 certification. The Cortex M33 and ST's firmware provides functionalities like Trust Zone, Trusted Firmware, Secure Boot, Secure Debug, and more. Teams can thus protect sensitive applications from the radio stack and safeguard information like cloud credentials or user data. And thanks to STM32 Trust Initiative, developers can also save time and resources. ST will have specific content on the STM32 Wiki to assist the community as it implements BLE-specific applications that rely on powerful security safeguards. The new devices will also include mechanisms protecting against physical attacks such as four anti-tamper pins, a unique hardware key, and more. In a word, the STM32 WBA represents a new era. 
It is a foundational shift for companies working on wireless devices. Moving to a single Cortex M33 core introduces new level of simplicity, power, efficiency and security. The best way to get started with the STM32WBA is to grab the Nucleo board featuring the WBA52 and download its Cube firmware package. But this is not the only announcement we have for the STM32WB series. And to learn more about the exciting developments around Matter and WB modules, let's talk with William in Brazil. William, take it away. Merci et au revoir.